What is a stationary random process? Well, let's think of an example of the recording of noise on a freeway at a certain time of day, for example. And this might be an example waveform that is measured over that period of time during the day. Of course, if we look at the next day, then it won't be the same function again because it is a random function. And on the next day, maybe the noise looks like this, for example, if we measure it on a second day. And if we measure it on a third day, again, it will be a different value that we measure. So this is a random process. Every day that you take the measurement over the same period of time, you get a different function. Uh, it's random function. And we're going to call this uh, x1 of t, x2 of t, uh, x3 of t, and so on. And of course, if every other day you'll get another one of these functions. So now let's think at any given time, the value of the function is random. So if we put, pick to this time, for example, then the value here would be this value, the, here would be a different value, here would be a different value. They are a random variable. And if we plot the density function of that random variable, perhaps it might look like this. So we take that exact time there, let's call it a T1, for example, and then we're going to plot the density function for the random variable at that time. So here we have on this axis, we have X at T1 uh, on the horizontal axis, and then this would be the probability of X at T1. This is the density function. Okay, now let's look at another time. Any other time we can pick, here's a different time. We'll call this T2. And if we look at the density function at time T2, then the density function might look like this, for example. And this would have X of T2 on the horizontal. And this is the probability density function for X at time two. Now, if these probability density functions are the same, then the process is stationary. That's the definition. If this ex exact probability density function is the same for all time, irrespective of whether you pick it as T1 or T2 or any other time, if for every single time, the random variable at that time has the same density function, then the process is a stationary random process. So it might also be useful to think about when a process is not stationary. And let's just consider this example if we extended out the time. If we record it over a longer period of time, perhaps over the entire day, then of course the noise on the freeway would be more during the peak hours and less during the off-peak hours, and maybe not very much at all overnight. And in that case, when you go to the time and you're looking at the different times, then the PDFs will not be the same. It certainly won't be the same at night as it is during the peak hours. So over that longer period of time, it would not be a stationary random process. But over a shorter period of time, it is stationary. So hopefully this has helped to understand a bit more about random processes, in particular about realizations of random processes and the values at given times being random variables. If it has helped, give the video a thumbs up, it helps others to find the video. Uh, check out the web page in the description below where you'll find a full categorized listing of all the videos on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos.